another Philly guy yeah. uh, in a possible big fight. It hasn't been announced yet. Your man Stephen Fulton. Yeah. Noe the monster anyway. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yo, you gotta you gotta put respect on Scooter name, man. That's a dog, bro. Mm. He's so like I don't okay, so we can't say underrated because he's unified. Or yeah. He's unified. He's right? unified, yeah. So we can't say put some respect on his name, he deserved because he's the dog. He's the he's the guy, right? Yo, but when you really look take a look back and you see Scooter's resume, man, it's just crazy. And for him going straight after the the monster, you know what I'm saying? And mm. and because in a way, first fight of 22, right? Yeah. That, that says a lot, man. That says a lot for the monster as well. Mm. It's, a bit, it's, a bit, it's a big fight. Big fight. And, I, and I'm pulling for Scooter, man. He's he's my dog. He's he's a good dude. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man. It's like, you know, I'm really, I'm, I'm pulling for him. And I, and I like him in the fight, too. Like, I'm not just saying he's my guy. I really like him in the fight. He's the bigger guy. Mm. He, it's not like he can't fight. It's not like he's not uh, been at that level. Um, um, he has all the experience. He didn't fall a hundred thousand undefeated guys before. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I really, I really, I, really, uh, I like Scooter in that fight. For real. Is this the biggest little guy fight that we've seen like recently, like last five, ten years, maybe? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No doubt. Now, uh, is the winner? I'm sorry. Uh, kind of looked at as pound for pound number one by some guys. Yeah. Scooter is kind of on the fringe, yeah. maybe like 11, 12. I feel like they don't give Scooter enough credit, man. It, he's in my pound for pound. Yeah, they don't give him enough credit. Where does the winner fall on a pound for pound list? If Noy wins, is he like guaranteed number one? If Scooter wins, is he top three? You know, obviously pound for pound meaning is accomplishments and, and, and all, right? Mm -hmm. So when you really look at it, bro, Crawford and Spence, they're not fighting each other. Mm -hmm. Canelo, all but Dimitri Bivol, mm. right? Uh, and then Floyd, but you know, that's Floyd 100 years ago. All but Dimitri Bivol, he's washing through everybody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like Canelo, Canelo would have been number one in my opinion, right? Uh, beating um, Bivol. Mm. Um, I think Bivol, in my opinion, is pound for pound number one right now, mm. this, this moment, for beating Canelo, for beating Zordo. You know what I'm saying? Um, back to back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tyson Fury really, at the end, they just beat one guy three times. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, two times, you know what I mean? Uh, plus a draw. So I really couldn't say he's pound for pound. Um, but to answer your question, I really, truly think you have to consider putting the winner of NOA and, 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 and Scooter at least top three, or whoever that winner is. Because everybody has their differences of opinion. Because not, it's not only Scooter and Monster, right? Just everybody in that weight class in general, because they're so small, you know what I'm saying? Mm. They're not really getting like the credit that they deserve, you know what I'm saying? Mm. In my opinion. So, yeah, man, I think um, the winner, especially, um, um, the winner should definitely, you know, be considered for top three um, out of that fight, no doubt.